Our meeting tonight is now open for the sharing of testimonies of healing through the study and practice of Christian science. Tom from Iowa, go ahead, please. Thank you, Ms. Eli, for those readings. I am grateful for what I am learning about supply through this church. Within the last week, when it seemed I was on my last penny, suddenly supply came through unexpected sources. One time I found money in my bedroom that I didn't know was there. I attribute this to the fact that I had been tithing to this church and also to working with the articles of supply and money as given in Martha Wilcox Addresses, a book that this church sells. I am also grateful for what was said about human harmony in this past roundtable, that we must worship cause and not the gifts. We must stay mentally active and not slow down just because things seem more harmonious. I am definitely keeping this in mind. I'm grateful to Christ Jesus, Mrs. Eddy, and this church, its members, and the holy prayers of my practitioner. Thank you so much, and all have a blessed night. Thank you. Thank you. Linda. Thank you very much for the readings tonight. This evening, I want to express my gratitude for a recent gift from God. He provided a helper with a home project that I had at the right time, and both of us were blessed. I'm very grateful for the lessons I'm learning while daily living practical Christian science based on the Bible. This independent church uses the finest teachings from Mary Baker Eddy's writings and of her early students, freely available on the website. These works correct misconceptions and clean up thought from the exposure to the world, and it removes this with the truth. There is no substitute on earth for the pure word of God. The more I read the history of Christian science and the life of Mary Baker Eddy by those who truly knew her, the more the veil of confusion is lifted. This is a priceless gift. I encourage listeners just to let the teachings here at the Plainfield Independent Church in its various forms to wash over them and just to find one thing and work with it during the week. It is so good to be part of this worldwide membership, working to share Christian science and present Mrs. Eddy in her true light, a deeply Christian woman who read and knew the Bible and lived its principles, a healer who followed our way or shower Christ Jesus and taught all her students to do this also. I'm very grateful to be here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Gary. Thank you, Ms. Sheila, for those uh, fine readings. Um, I'm very grateful for everything that I have been learning about Christian science in this church. I'm also grateful for the opportunities that uh, have presented themselves for me to prove to myself the truth of Christian science. Um, One experience I would like to mention, uh, it was a little while ago, but one evening after a very active working day on a very cold, um, in cold weather, uh, I began to feel ill. And initially I thought, oh no, I, I worked myself too hard in this cold weather. But I thought, no, I, I stopped what I was doing and I began to pray quietly. And right away some thoughts came to me that I have learned over the years here. Um, one is uh, that came to me, Mrs. Eddy has written that whatever it is your duty to do, you can do without harm to yourself. And I had been doing something that needed to be done. And um, I declared, that can't harm me. 
And another thought that came to me was, we are under the law of God, which is spiritual and it's good. And there is no law of matter, so-called, that could oppose God's law. And here was a supposed law of matter trying to oppose God's law. And I started to get angry and stamp my foot and said, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have it. <laughs> so I, I prayed and I declared that I was a spiritual idea of God. And that as the image and likeness of God, God being perfect, the truth about me was that I was perfect now. And I just, I declared that to myself. And within a few minutes, I felt the peace of God come over me. And the symptoms, which had been very unpleasant, left. That night, I was able to sleep peacefully. And in the morning, I, there was no trace of the symptoms. And they did not return. So I'm very grateful for this healing. I'm very grateful for everything that I am learning in this church about this tremendous science, Christian science, and grateful for all the opportunities that I have to prove that it is the truth. So grateful to be here with you tonight. Thank you. Shardy. Good evening. I am grateful to be here with all of you this evening. Also, for all that I am learning, and for the support of my kind and thoughtful practitioner. About a week ago, as I was sitting, waiting alone in my friend's truck, I had the door open because it was a warm day, and because the engine was not on, I couldn't open the window. So I opened the door. My foot was on the metal part where the door closes, when suddenly, a huge gust of wind slammed the door on my foot. Pain shot through my whole body. But I remembered what Mrs. Eddy said about when something happens, you get right up and you declare it never happened. And that's a paraphrase. So I was instant, like we've been taught. And I got up, both feet, declared the truth to myself, and I walked around, and the pain stopped. I walked back to the truck, got in, and sat quietly. A little later, I did look at my foot, and there was no mark at all. I am grateful for this healing and being able to share it. Thank you. Thank you. Dale W. from Virginia. Go ahead, please. Yes, thank you. And thank you for the readings on heaven is a state of consciousness in God. For anyone who has turned to God for help or studied Christian science and strived to obey the law of our good, loving God knows the beautiful peace that can be had. After reading the text of tonight's readings, I was reminded of a healing experience I had years ago, but it's one that I cherish. When pregnant with our second child, I worked with a dedicated Christian science practitioner in my branch church throughout the pregnancy. A very kind doctor was located to deliver the baby. In fact, because I wanted to have a natural delivery, he arranged to stay at the hospital from midnight before I was actually in labor and all through the next day if need be, as it was his day off because he said another doctor may not want to have that kind of a delivery. The baby came within an hour after arriving at the hospital at midnight, and the birth was completely harmonious. Sometime after I was back home and very busy with a two-year-old and my nursing baby, I started having trouble with my hands going to sleep at night. In fact, they also became quite painful. The condition that continued to worsen until, until my fingers started becoming numb during the day. This, of course, really concerned me, and I called the same practitioner for help. 
After explaining what was going on, the practitioner asked, How's church? Well, that wasn't exactly what I was expecting her to say. But since I had consistently been very active in many capacities of church work, and now I wasn't even getting to church services, bingo, she hit the nail on the head. Wow, where had God gone out of my priorities? That was the wake-up call I needed. I immediately got back on track, putting God first, and that very day my hands were fine. And the condition never reappeared. The sentence you read from Science and Health, quote, better the suffering which awakens mortal mind from its fleshly dream than the false pleasures which tend to perpetuate this dream, end quote, made me think of this experience. It is never a matter, as it says in the scientific statement of being, quote, there is no life truth, intelligence, nor substance in matter. All is infinite mind, with a capital M, and its infinite manifestation, for God is all in all. End quote. That's Science and Health, page 468. God is all. And when I was awakened and turned my focus back to God, I found my peace. I am very grateful for everything that goes on in this church, for all the materials we have to study, all the experiences people give and testimonies. Just, it's a joy to be involved in this independent church, and I'm grateful for every minute of it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nancy from New Jersey. Go ahead, please. Good evening. Thank you for the inspiring readings tonight, the beautiful music, and all of the testimonies. I wanted to give my thanks for our Wednesday evening meetings that provide us with the opportunity to express our gratitude for all the blessings that we receive through the clear and strong teaching of Mrs. Eddy's Pure Christian Science that we are given in this church, which truly feed and sustain us in every trial that comes to us to be met. I'm very grateful for being taught here that these trials are proofs of God's care and provide us with opportunities to walk closer with our loving Father Mother. I'm so very grateful for all that we are taught through our roundtables and Bible studies our weekly lessons, and all of our services. I would like to express great gratitude to my practitioner for her steadfast and loving support, always lifting me up above the illusions, keeping me on the right path and in my Father's house. I am most grateful for the strength, courage, and love that God abundantly supplies us with, especially when times seem most difficult. I am so grateful for Christ Jesus and his healing ministry, for Mary Baker Eddy and her precious gift of Christian science. I'm so very grateful for this church and to be able to be a part of this church and attend this beautiful healing service this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Jeremy. I would like to give my gratitude tonight for this church and for the pure Christian science that is taught here. The first thing that attracted me to this church was that the people were not weird. That was and is a big deal to me. They actually were individuals I was grateful to know and grateful my children had the opportunity to know. And I'm grateful also that there's no call in Christian science to worship person or personality. I was thinking of today today of how when someone called Christ Jesus good master in Matthew 19, he replied, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God, end quote. And it is clear from what I've been taught here that 
Mary Baker Eddy would never have wanted us to do anything more than work, watch, and pray, as she herself did, and to place our trust in God only. Everything I have learned here has all conformed to and expanded upon what I have been learning of the Bible as well. And it has all been essential for me to have positive changes in my character and for the ability to be useful as a worker in this church. I spent many years before coming here feeling lost and alone, but this church and practitioner support have helped me to find my true self as God made me and to know that in truth I never was without God. I'm very grateful for all I've learned here in Plainfield and for the opportunity to be a part of this mission for the world. It truly is a constant blessing to be here. Thank you. Thank you. And now we have a testimony from Imogen and Australia. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for this beautiful testimony meeting tonight. Ever since I first found this dear, independent Christian Science Church late one night during the lockdowns here in Australia, my life, my soul, my world has been extraordinarily transformed and blessed. Before finding this church, I frequently made the mistake of ranting on about what I deemed to be wrong in the world. I would choose what I deemed to be the good and I would rant and get very cross at what I deemed to be the bad. This all came to the front pretty severely here in Australia when we were locked into our homes by the politicians in my state, where, during six lockdowns, there were times where we could not go outside for more than an hour. We were fined if we went beyond the curfew time or the limited radius that was allowed. Military were in the streets and vaccinations were mandatory if you needed to work. So this ranting that I had indulged in for years really became a big problem and would have wreaked havoc in my life at that time had I not found this pure Christian science church where I started to learn that good is always attainable. God is always with me, within my own consciousness. And I also learnt I did not have to try and make the world conform to my idea of good, but rather I did have much work to do in order to conform myself to God's idea of goodness. This battle within me was mighty, like wrangling a crock. And this battle still goes on within at times, but I now find it much easier to obey the first commandment, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And this is thanks to the pure teaching of Christian science at this church. I am so grateful to have learned here that if I rant, I am dishonouring God. And if I become angry at people, I am dishonouring God. That if I worry, I am dishonouring God. That I would be breaking the first commandment if I worry or become angry at people. Because God made all, and whatever is wrong is only human error, trying to suggest that God is not omnipotent. When we know that he is all-powerful and we are to obey him. I am so very grateful to this church where I have learnt what Bicknell Young states, quote, God is governing his own universe all of the time and governing it correctly. So tonight I truly thank our practitioners for teaching us to not ever give in to error and for teaching us to truly always follow the first commandment and be faithful to our God. Over the years I have found mortal mind to be extremely crafty in the many ways it would try to distract me from having only one God, our dearest Father, Mother God, King of the universe, creator and ruler of all, who loves every one of us and who knows no evil. I am very grateful to the prayerful support of my Plainfield practitioner who is very patient and loving to be teaching me these things. So tonight I thank God for Christian science and I do so pray to be always worthy and keep the first commandment and be faithful to my God. Thank you all so much and so much love to you all. Thank you. 
Bruce. I want to say thanks to Mishaela for reading tonight and wonderful passages that were selected. And the last one that she read is from Science and Health, Mary Baker Eddy. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house, the consciousness of love forever. Uh, this passage meant a lot to me at one occasion some time ago when I had an appointment with someone and I was trying to get ready for this appointment and it was like I couldn't get my hands on the things that I felt like I needed so that I would have the information that I felt that I needed to have this appointment go well. And it was a bit frustrating until I realized the only thing that I needed to do was to stay in the consciousness of love. Love for the opportunity to meet with this person, love for the opportunity to discuss the things we were going to talk about, and I was going to not plan how it was going to go, but rather let love govern the thing. And whatever it was I was looking for, I never got it, but when the appointment came and I sat down with this person, we had the best conversation and we talked about uh, all the things that we needed to talk about and it actually went in a little different direction than I originally anticipated. And uh, the whole project worked out harmoniously. And um, this is something only God could have done. This, that is, until I got myself out of the way and my own plans out of the way, and let God lead the way. And I'm so grateful for that one opportunity to taught me that wonderful lesson. Thank you. Thank you. Luba from Ohio, go ahead, please. Thank you. I'm so grateful for the continual support of my practitioner, who without fail, she will point out specific passages in science and health or miscellaneous writings and specific hymns that lift my spirit and inspire me. I'm also grateful to this church for all it provides in the true teaching of Christian science. Thank you also for tonight's reading, and I'm very blessed to be here this evening. Thank you. Mishaela, go ahead, please. Good evening. I am very thankful tonight for this church and my amazing practitioner to show me that I can stamp my foot and say the hell you say to error. When I was preparing for this Wednesday reading, I um, had some things happening and I felt bad. I had bad thoughts saying, um, you are too late, um, you, you, you can't do it, um, you, you don't have enough time, uh, it's all too much. And then I said, I remembered, the hell you say. <laughs> I am means I can. I think that was said on the round table the day before. And I was able to finish the readings and send them in in time. I am very grateful to be learning, to be instant in saying the hell you say to error and to not let myself get off the good track of God. Have a good night. Thank you. Craig. Thank you, Michelle, for those inspiring readings. Particularly when you spoke of Patriarch David, I could feel that you were holding in thought him and his deep prayer to God. And the Gospel of Luke, how supremely important it was, the, the Gospel as Jesus had given it to him that God be first and all. It means a lot because so many times it's that type of prayer 
that it keeps me on the right track. We can know the truth, but to stay with it and say, <clears throat> I'm not going to, I'm going to prove it and, and prove the healing and prove the harmony and success instead of falling away and giving up. But the prayer gives me strength when I pray like you did to say, the hell you say. <laughs> I thank Murray Baker Reddy for giving us this wonderful science and and our practitioners, and all the unity here. Thank you. Florence from Georgia, go ahead, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mashiela, for your beautiful readings. Um, I'm so grateful to learn, or to have learned, that it's so wonderful to know that heaven is within us. It is what we are all seeking. Peace, contentment, joy, good health, love, it's already within us. To think that this already exists within everyone, but only our habits of wrong thinking block our view in seeing what gracious gift of goodness God has already given all of us. The Bible tells us that in Matthew, for example, Matthew 6, it says that we cannot serve two masters, God and mammon. At the same time, we are to choose and walk on that narrow way, stay in that secret place, and let God's love shelter us. We do not make heaven with our thinking, but how glorious that we can feel ourselves in heaven when we change our wrong thinking of selfishness, resentfulness, revengefulness, self-righteousness, which only block our view so that the, our view can be clear enough for us to see the heaven that we all seek awaiting us. I cannot thank God enough for all the workers who have kept this truth going so that our brothers and sisters elsewhere, everywhere really, can also feel the same and have the same view awakened in them. I'm so grateful for Christ Jesus' example. He showed us how connected in one union he was with God all the time, everywhere he went. Mrs. Eddie, for allowing this or being so pure in thought that this truth for the world can come through her and bless us all. I'm so grateful for those working currently and actually living this truth that our example might bless others. So grateful for all the testimonies, the hymns, the readings again. And I'm so grateful to be here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Mary. Good evening, everyone. I have just a few things to read tonight. First from South Dakota. Thank you, Plainfield Christian Science Independent for your dedication to Christian science as discovered and established by Mary Baker Eddy's, whose love for God and man resulted in providing the comforter promised by Christ Jesus to all mankind. Whether the going seems tough or the upward path seems solid and stable, there is always the 24-7 science support to be found on the Plainfield website, as well as the loving support from practitioners. I am very grateful for this. Thank you for your dedication and support for Mary Baker Eddy, for the Christ Science, and for all the proofs of your care. May I also become worthy, a South Dakota friend of the Plainfield Christian Science Church. And then this is from New Hampshire. I've been working with the thought about illusions lately. Seeing the picture in front of me and recognizing the truth that is there, for example, my husband, daughter, and I decided to make a spontaneous trip to visit family that we had not seen in a long time. Illusions that popped up were anxiety over travel and seeming family, family discord. No, God is not anxious and we are always in the kingdom of heaven. We can never travel out of, out of it. So therefore, peace and harmony are with us wherever we go. Mind is always governing, guiding, and directing. 
and that too was a constant comfort on my trip. It was an overall harmonious trip, despite what obstacles or illusions seemed to pop up. I'm so grateful to have my science and to see it perfectly demonstrated time after time. And then this is an email, um, someone I don't think we've heard from before. I'm, I'm not sure where she's from. Hello, I just made another donation online. Please let everyone involved in the round table know that listening online and or via the, via the phone has made such a significant difference in my life. I come from an evangelical Christian background and was just withering on the vine, as we say. In other words, not much to show for my faith. My connection to Plainfield Christian Science has changed all that. I'm back to having quiet times, financial giving, trusting God for all the circumstances in my life, becoming more loving. As it, it's as if in our patience I've been born again, or sorry, in our parlance, I've been born again. As if my first conversion experience was not a genuine one. I only wish I'd met you earlier. I cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. May God bless you richly. Thank you, too, for those beautiful readings tonight. It's wonderful to think about that often during the day, that heaven is here on earth when we make it that way, when we keep our thought and consciousness in line with the Father. And yes, say the hell you say to everything that's unlike him. I'm grateful for these lessons that I learn here. Each and every day I learn something new, and it's so encouraging to hear from new people who have found us and who have found their lives being transformed. Um, that's why we're here, and I'm, I'm so very deeply grateful for that. Thank you all for your participation tonight, and have a good evening. Thank you.